Okay, this is going to be a good video. We got another toolbox from uh, Harbor Freight. The, the uh, I think it's 34 inch full bank cart. So let's get the camera off of the tripod and get over there and check it out. Okay, here it is. Now you might be saying, well, we already knew you had one. Well, let's, let's back up a little bit. There's two. Now, this one is the one I've had. As you see it's got that up there on it from Tecton. My Mueller Cup sticker. This is the one I had. This one was a, uh, I need to wipe them all down, or all of them, really all four of them. Uh, this one was set up as my Diag cart. I originally had my Altel scan tool up here. And then, of course, you know, it was full of Diag stuff. But instead of having to move all these single pliers, because you can't just pick up the rack with all the pliers in them because they'll fall out. I just moved every, all the Diag stuff from this cart over to that cart. Now, this is not really going to be a uh, toolbox tour. I may do a toolbox tour of that one and then one of that one. And an updated one of my Matco one. Excuse the mess. The garage is a mess. And then, of course, let me see if I can get over here to show you that. You've already seen it in the other video. But that's the 27-inch uh, top and bottom. You did see my other video, right, of that. 27 inch you go check it out if you haven't it's cool but i don't think i did actually did a tour of it what's in it it's full now because of me having to rearrange everything in that box to get those wrenches to fit in there right i pretty sure i have a one or two drawers in that box my matco box that's empty so this box let's see what we got in the top just the saws, got this saw from Robert, this flex saw, this saw right here is awesome. This saw, this little Ryobi skill saw, it's not bad, it cuts. Not a jigsaw, I uh, ain't too thrilled with it. And that's just an extra saw blade, that's old as crap, saw blade, black and decker, that's from the 80s when I first got my other first uh, skill saw that's sitting right there, which now has a DeWalt blade on it. I mean, it's obviously from the 80s, it's had several blades on it, but you know, I'm just saying. So, let's, let's see. This is, remember now, this is the Diag cart. Electrical, Diag. I'm not gonna go over everything that's in the cart. Because I may, I may do a toolbox tour and explain it a little bit better. I'm just showing you the cart. I don't really like that stuff being in there. There's the heat shrink tubing. I'd rather have tools in a toolbox. Basically set up the same way as the other box was. Cooling system pressure tester and the Viva pressure tester. So, okay, like I said, this was not a technically a toolbox tour. It was just showing you how I got it set up. Uh, and showing you that I got another one. So now I have two of the full bank carts, 34 inch US General full bank carts. I got the 27 inch top and bottom US General toolbox. And of course, the big boy over there, the Matco, it's, it's not going anywhere. Uh, and believe it or not, I think there's one drawer in, the, in that cart, one of the carts that's empty. 
and maybe one or two in my toolbox, my Matco box that's empty, only because of the way I had to rearrange things to get everything to fit in a deep enough drawer. Uh, just means I need to buy more tools, right? I'm sure I could unclutter some of the drawers and fill them up. And I may do that. Anyway, just wanted to show you the, the new addition, the second uh, U.S. General full bank cart. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.